Poole now postures as a rational centrist or a disaffected liberal. No, he's not. <laughs> and who grew to low the excesses on the left. If you buy Poole's branding, he stands in contrast to the bulk of his journal journalistic careers. Uh, peers, evil liars, he says, who reportedly, who supposedly catapulted to the, uh, 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 capitulated to the agenda of Black Lives Matter, Antifa, Democrats, big tech companies, feminists, and the like. Mind you, he is literally says, he literally, wow, I don't know what to say. He is literally making apologetics for the Proud Boys, the three percenters. Here, let's get into this. Did you know that F Tim Pool was a fucking idiot, a coward, and pretty lazy? So <laughs> I I will admit that um this was actually a story that I fucking cribbed because I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Let's go up to it. Let's go up to it. Um, let's change this just a little bit. How Coward and phony Tinpool became one of the planet's biggest, ah, the biggest u political YouTubers on the planet. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Water is wet and shit stinks, right? <laughs> okay, so here, let me actually adjust this one second. Oh God, we're gonna fucking get into this. And I know I'm not going to read the whole article, but um, this is going to actually be really, really fun. Um, give me a second. All right, there we go. And let me actually just go ahead and actually so we can both read it. Um, me on the screen and you guys all right so by mid-afternoon on january 4th it has become increasingly clear that a slew of far-right actors were gearing up for violence they woke up and choose and chose violence tim pool derided and dismissed the accurate reporting out of hand of course he did the guy that talks about race wars is dismissing reports of violence. I wonder why he would do that, right? Mm. Of all the ideological enemies of Pool 35, rails against on YouTube for an audience of millions each day, few stack ups to the mainstream press. In his mind, coverage of the then President Donald Trump's instigations and mounting threats was yet another example of media depravity. depravity. So this motherfucker literally thought that Trump's, the words coming out of Trump's own mouth were just the media making it up and making it seem like he's worse than what he was. Mm. What do you think they're gonna do, Axe Temple? Oh, let, let, me, let me do it, like, where is it at? Where is it at? I fucking don't have a beanie. Um, shit. Okay. What do you think they're going to do? Let me pretend like I'm bald. What do you think that they're going to do? Two days later, a mob stormed the Capitol. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like, the fuck? Two days later, a mob stormed the Capitol, whipped into a friendly by the nonsensical claim of a stolen election, and determined to put a stop on the to the constitutional tra transfer of power. To date, nearly 600 alleged rioters a mismatch of Trump backers, QAnon adherents, and members of, a mi of militias and extremist groups have been arrested. Throughout the fall of 2020, the wildly successful YouTube pundit has spent countless of hours hyping the blinkered, wow, legal strategy, hyping the blinkered legal strategies and half-baked fantasies about voter fraud. In, uh, in, uh, in, uh, 
animating the one line right. At the same time, in each video, Pool tried to separate himself from the hardcore conspiracy theorists. After all, he was just commenting on the news. And you know what? This is the thing. And like, okay, so let's actually let's let's actually just address this. And um this this is what this is what we're going to make sure that these people actually understand. So I'm a political commentary. I comment on the news. I don't go out there and make news. I don't go out there and find news. I comment on the news that I see fit. Here's the fucking thing though. With me commenting on the news, I don't pull back that I'm commenting. I don't pull back my views. I don't pull back the fact that, yes, I am left wing. Yes, I believe that the world would be better following progressive policies. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. I'm not going to hide that. I'm not a coward that sit back and um, just try to say anything in order to please the audience. I don't know. Maybe this is what you get after you get so many subscribers, but uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat or hide on the different facts that I have and what I believe about what's going on. But let's continue. What Poole kept secret from his younger, overwhelmingly male, and decidedly white, uh, right-leaning audience during this time is that he seemed to have a pretty good idea of what may happen on January 6th. Dude, I've had messages of people saying that they already got plans to rush DC as soon as November goes chaotic. To Poole said clearly, uh, said early September during a recorded conversation reviewed by the Daily Beast. So this motherfucker knew, he knew that shit was going to go down if, you know, the God King Emperor didn't win. A few minutes later, Pooh added the right wing militias, the Oath Keepers, the Three Percenters, and, j and just the Proud Boys and Trump supporters. They're going to full, uh, they're going to rush, ah, they're going to rush full speed to D.C. They're going to take the White House and do whatever they can and paramilitary that's a stupid phrasing tim like learn how to english <laughs> anyway Poole made it clear that these comments to the then colleagues at the media company he started the following month Poole used his youtube platform to say the oath keepers had been unjustly unjustly smeared by the southern poverty law center he eventually comes to the defense of the proud boys as well yes tim Poole actually comes to the defense of the proud boys He's even had fucking Tortano on his show. Like, if you were to tell Tim Pool that, yo, you fucking up, you promoting Proud Boy shit. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just promoting the news. Like, and by the way, there's going to be a race war because reasons. Like, mm. it makes no sense to me. But let's continue. This glaring omission was not out of character for Poole. Far from it. A former digital media journalist who originally built his name on the ground reporting and live streaming, including since advice and fusion, Poole now postures as a rational centrist or a disaffected liberal. No, he's not. <laughs> and who grew to low the excesses on the left. If you buy Poole's branding, he stands in contrast to the bulk of his journalistic careers. Uh, peers, evil liars, he says, who reportedly, who supposedly catapulted to the, uh, 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 capitulated to the agenda of Black Lives Matter, Antifa, Democrats, big tech companies, feminists, and the like. Mind you, he is literally says, he literally, wow, shit, I don't know what to say. He is literally making apologetics for the proud boys the three percenters but you know like is he capitulating to these far right militias of course he isn't because they're on his side this self-generated mythology and anti-authoritarian truth teller 
who successfully stemmed from confronting the machine, as Poole puts it, bears little resemblance to reality. And here's the motherfucking, the motherfucking chef's kiss. The fuck, he, here's here's the dirt. Contrary to over, the overall manner in which Poole portrays himself, he was not an interpret field reporter and a streamer who barreled into the conflict zones filled with unshakable desire to ferret out the real story. Poole was at times reluctant to leave the safety of his hotel room. According to several of the nearly 30 former co-workers and other acquaintances from the past decade who spoke with the Daily Beast, he had come across as uninterested in interviews, sub, uh, in interviewing subjects, and doing much research. During shoots, Poole's head was frequently buried in his phone, digitally tracking social media, only to blame his co-workers or equipment that he couldn't live up to his clippings. Poole's main focus when reporting those on the ground with him said was drawing attention to himself. Ooh, ooh, look, shade. The drums, the dramas, like, wow, this motherfucker, like, everybody around him is literally saying that, nah, he just didn't care about the interviews. The only thing he cared about was the numbers, those social media numbers, getting them numbers higher and higher. And, like, I get it, it's your job, it's your career to get clicks and likes and all that other good shit. But, like, you even saw it when Tim Pool actually did that whole, oh, no go zones in Sweden. The motherfucker first was going around with white nationalists. Secondly, he was literally in those no go zones and nobody gave a fuck about him. Like, for real? For real. For real. But let, let, let's continue. Let's continue back with the article. A coward and a phony, a joke, staggeringly ignorant, totally full of shit, not smart, and bumbling doofus are all representative samples of how those who work with pool at digital media companies described him. Shots fired! Most did so on a condition of anonymity, and in some instances citing possible reprisals reprisals from by Tim and harassment of his fans. Hey, 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 let's let's just do this. If you're a Tim Fool if you're a Tim Fool fan, oh I Ferdian slip. If you're a Tim Pool fan and you think that you're gonna make me mad or upset me by you talking bad about me, <laughs> ah fuck you, Tim Pool's a fucking idiot. But <laughs> let, let's continue. Since then, Poole has discovered that a style of commentary and audience where a lack of knowledge or journalistic skills may not prove an Im impediment to success. In some ways, insecurities and incap uh, incapacity severs, uh, serves as valuable attributes in this media, not solely because of his political valence, but also uh, but thanks to in part to how YouTube itself functions, rewarding the kind of high volume sensationalism and sloppy churn pool specialize in. Yo, what's up? What's up, Ziggurat Sauce? So here's the thing. What this is literally saying is there are some people and like, okay, guys, okay, I'm gonna say something and I want you guys to understand this. There are people that would watch you on YouTube when you don't know shit. I know, right? It's almost as if I don't know shit, but you guys still watch me. I don't know what that says about me or you. I, I don't know. But, like, yeah. And then you have dumbass conservatives. I, I, wow. And this is actually just in here, 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 here. This is a function of the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube ab algorithm literally is designed to help you keep going and it's the reason why so many people are actually falling down the alt-right pipeline simply because these fucking algorithms now here's the thing you actually saw tim pool was nothing real fucking special when he only had to rely on print or 
Vice or some shit. Mm. What re- really blew him up was the fact that he's playing the algorithm. What? He has, what, four channels? And he releases content at least twice a day. And uh, you know what? To be honest with you guys, one of some of my biggest pushes when I was releasing multiple content a day. I I just I don't know. But let's 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 read a little bit more of this article and then we're gonna wrap it up. So So and it has been made pull both exceedingly rich and one of the most watched independent YouTube political punders with over 3.3 million subscribers, 1.5 billion views, and by all estimates, hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue per month. He earned 600,000 in just August, and most of it came from YouTube. Poole claimed in, in a recorded conversation. Fuck. All you have to do is sell out your principles and you can be a millionaire in a matter of months. Fuck. How much are my principles worth? Oh, yeah. My self-worth. Eh. Nah. But look at this. Look at this. All you have to do is be um, significantly right-wing and play to these conspiratorial excuse me leanings and you can make fucking bank wow fuck wow unlike his peers in conservative media pool wasn't boosted by the usual suspects neither the Koch brothers the mercer clan nor a deep pocket billionaires forked over seed money and he didn't um he didn't gain facebook algorithms yes facebook algorithms Fox News had more or less ignored him and has an institutional and has the institutional Republican Party and his network of well-funded think tanks right now, right wing and far right wing figures, many of whom may not be welcomed on a platform to the left of Tucker Carlson tonight. Not only have they taken notice, they've come to him. So, yeah, like I said, um, Tim Pool platformed um the leader of the proud boys he platforms all sorts of disgusting ass motherfuckers but yeah no let's 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 kind of wrap this up so in 2020 a continue um and continuing through 2021 a rotating cast of stop the steal activists capital rioters QAnon, and pizzagate promoters 9-11 truthers Grifters, anti vactors anti-Semites, misogynists, cranks, and neo-fascists t- trundled down to Tim Pool's Maryland studio to appear on Tim Cast IRL. His two-hour plugs, ah, his two-hour plus long YouTube live streams where Pool allows them to pedal their waves, their wares before six-digit audience and receive very little, if any, pushback. This should come as no surprise whenever a right-wing personality, politician, personality, or group enters the news cycle. Poole finds a way to stand down, stand down their actual stated beliefs or claim ignorance. Now, it goes on to a lot of the other story, but, but let's just kind of wrap it up here because I'm getting bored. So, here's the thing. Tim Pool is a fucking idiot. Now, you saw when Destiny and Vosh actually went down to his show. Tim Pool actually kind of pushed back. It's the it's the Joe Rogan thing. Like, let's let's be honest, it's the Joe Rogan thing. These motherfuckers claim, oh, I'm just a jag off comedian. Oh, I'm just a bad comedian. Or I'm just telling the facts. And I'm I'm just the normal folks like you. But in reality, no. They're using you to make motherfucking money. Fuck, I wish I can use people to make motherfucking money, but I still don't. Like, God, like, okay, so, like, I have a YouTube, uh, I have my YouTube channel, which I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe, or if you want to actually help support me on my Patreon, then that would be fine. Like, I would love that. 
But does it mean that I'm gonna give them my principles in order to make a quick motherfucking buck? Or in motherfucking cases like this, a large quick motherfucking bundle of bucks? No. But this is all this is. This is a get rich quick scheme. This is the whole, like, and it's ironic that this is coming out the same week that he's gonna have Vosh out there and Vosh is gonna eat his ass alive. It's gonna be Vosh. Vosh is gonna eat his ass, ass alive. Maybe not in a way that Alex Jones wanted them to, but you know, I don't know. But yeah, this is, this is fucking weird. And are we really that surprised though? Are we really that surprised? Are we surprised that Tim Pool is this much of a jackass? No, we're not. And quite frankly, guys, I look forward to these motherfuckers' action questions. And you know what? These motherfuckers are not going to get in a real debate. They're not. Every time, like, and I'm rambling right now, but what's funny is, like, they get embarrassed and then they run away. You know the reason why, um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 well, it, he's gonna, Vosh, uh, uh, Vosh is gonna be on Tim Pool's show debating Charlie Kirk. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that, I, I'm looking forward to that shit. Mm, mm. That's gonna be different. But anyway, guys, um, as always, um, we're going to wrap this segment up here. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitch, Twitter. My link tree um, links are in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We're going to cut this video. I want to take the time to say thank you to my current patrons. And you can actually help support my channel for as little as $1 a month. Check out Crimson60620 PS4 Gaming. Thank you.